Oh. A wild classroom of eco geeks exploring biodiversity. The world is a beautiful mystery. Life, learning, and discovery. E e e e e e e eco geeks. This world has many, many species. Have you ever awoken from a night of, say, sleeping in a hammock in the jungle to ponder what biodiversity is? Hmm. Okay, my guess is probably haven't, but we do all the time. Questions like how many species are there in the world, or why really is it important to protect all these species, come to mind. So in this video, we thought we'd touch on a few of the major topics of biodiversity. Oh wow, what a place to wake up. What a great place to search for biodiversity. In fact, if you were to make a map with a concentration of biodiversity across the globe, right here in Panama in the tropics would be one of the most biodiverse places. Okay, first things first. What is biodiversity? I guess the first thing that I think of is that biodiversity is the total number of species in the world. In the past, most estimates of species biodiversity were based on taking the number of known species from collections and then extrapolating based on the number of new species identified each year. The estimate was somewhere around 1.5 million. Then, in the late 70s, the work of Terry Irwin and Janice Scott, right here in Panama, opened the world's eyes to the concept that there could be a lot more species in the world. So, they fogged 19 individuals of one tree species with insecticide at different times of the year. Their results indicated that there were, say, 163 beetle species that existed on this tree and nowhere else. What if every tropical tree, all 50,000 of them, had similar endemic species? So from this data, they estimated that there may be close to 30 million arthropod species in the world. Then, people estimated that the total number of species may be as high as 100 million. So recent work has then re-examined this question. The newest studies think that maybe 10 million species is a safer bet. But in reality, no one knows. They're all just educated guesses. But remember, biodiversity is more than just the total number of species. Population biologists are concerned about the genetic diversity as well. We see that, of course, every day in people. The last form of diversity can be seen within ecosystems, like here in the tropical forests, to the deserts, alpine tundra, and more. But it's really scary just how fast we're losing biodiversity. Introduced species from around the world are decimating local plants and animals. Habitat loss is decreasing the amount of available land. Disease, like avian malaria in Hawaii, is killing local birds, and the chytrid fungus in the neotropics is devastating amphibian populations. But the question still remains, why is this important? So there's many different reasons why we should work to preserve biodiversity, of course. One could be purely aesthetic reasons. Artists, for instance, have gone out in nature for ages to search for inspiration. A lot of our medicines come straight from nature. Of course, a lot of our food comes from nature too. Finally, there's a lot of interactions between species and the environment that we just don't know about. So a quick recap, biodiversity means more than species diversity, it means genetic diversity and ecosystem diversity. But we are losing biodiversity and the question still arises, what can we do about it? So you may already know, there really is no one way to protect biodiversity. But here in Panama, they have this great approach where they set aside tracts of land as preserve zones. And then, to protect that land from poachers, they have a team of guardabosques that patrol the reserve. The guardabosques are kind of like nature security guards. Okay, so I'm going to suggest something else that you can do. Anybody that owns land can plant native species in their yard. Because by putting native plants, you encourage other native species to come in. You can also visit places that set aside land for tourism. Many communities have found great value in protecting tracts of land to bring in ecotourists. Every time you visit these places, you're helping to protect these areas. But hey, remember to do it eco-friendly. 
our Earth contains so much diversity. Not just the number of species, but within genes and among ecosystems as well. And just remember, even with our growing population, each of us can make decisions every day to help preserve what's here. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is explore. Because if you don't know what's around you, you can't do anything to protect it. But that's where we can help. Each week we're going to be looking at a different plant or animal and following researchers that are answering important questions in science. So, until next time, I'm Rob with the Wild Classroom and we encourage you to never stop exploring.